Hello and welcome to this lesson where we are going to be going through a simple little major scale exercise that you'll have seen me demonstrating in that little introduction video. So this is going to be a great exercise that's going to test a few different things. It's going to test our knowledge of notes on the fretboard as well as our knowledge of scale positions and also it's going to throw a wee bit of picking technique in there for good measure. So this actually follows on from a video I previously uploaded my channel about how to play the C major scale in seven positions. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to put a link on screen to that just now. Go and watch it, it's going to be very useful. Because that video is going to go through how we play all of these positions we're going to be applying today. It's going to go through all of the finger patterns. It's going to go through the whole thought process of how we actually visualise all of these scales on the fretboard. So if you go watch that video first, it's going to help make this video make a lot more sense. So I'd encourage you to go do that. If you have seen that and that's all fine and hunky-dory and you know what's going on, great, that means we can get stuck into this lesson today then. So the way this exercise is going to work is we're going to go through seven different major scales, starting from A and going alphabetically. So we'll go A major, B major, C major, D major, E, F, G, and then round everything off we're going to play A major one more time, but we're going to do it an octave higher. And we're going to do all of this on one position on the fretboard. Now really you could do it in any position you want to, um, but for this demonstration we're going to be using between frets 5 and fret 9, roughly, with one wee exception, but we'll go into that in a wee minute. So all of these scales, we're going to be starting from our root note, so that's the note the scale is built up from. So in the case of A major, our root note will be A, for B major it'll be B, for C major it'll be C, blah blah blah, you kind of get the idea. Um, now on the neck diagrams you're going to see with each scale position, the root note is going to be highlighted by a red dot, that's going to be the note we're starting on, the red one, and then all the other notes we're going to play are going to be highlighted by the black dots. So each scale, depending on your difficulty level, will be playing in either crotchets, quavers or semi-quavers, and that's going to determine how many times you go up and down each scale, um, but we will be playing it in one octave, so we'll be starting on our root note, going to that same note an octave higher, and then back down again. But to get it to fit nicely into the bar, once we get back down to our root note, we're going to have to go to the scale degree just below the root note, and then back up again to take us into the new bar. Just because that's kind of how the timing ends up working, but it'll be fine. It'll make sense once we actually see the diagrams and you see what's going on which we're going to do just now, so let's take a wee look at what all the scale positions are. So we'll be starting off with A major, that's going to be our first finger on fret 5 on the low E string, go all the way up to A an octave higher, all the way back down again. Now this is the only one where we're going to need to move out of position to make it fit into the bar, we need to go down to the next scale degree below the root note and then back up again. So we need to slide our first finger back to fret 4 and then back to fret 5 again. So all together that will be... And that would be us repeating it. Now 
Next, we've got B major. For this, we're gonna put our second finger on fret seven of the low E string. Same again, all the way up to B an octave higher. All the way back down again. Down to the next scale degree below the root. And then back up. Next up, we've got C major. That's going to be our pinky on fret 8 on the low E string. Same as before, all the way up, then all the way back down. Down to the next note below, then back up again. And we'll get D major. That's going to be our first finger on fret 5 of the A string. Major, that's going to be our second finger, fret 7 of the A string. Now we've got F major, that's going to be our pinky on fret 8 of the A string. G major, it's going to be our first finger on fret 5 of the D string. And then finally, to take us home, A major, an octave higher. So we're going to have our second finger on fret 7 of the D string now. Now the good thing about this exercise is that depending on your experience level, we can alter the difficulty of it um, depending on what speed we choose to play it at. So if you're a beginner, you can play it in crotchets, which would be quarter notes. If you're slightly more advanced, you can play it in eighth notes or quavers. And if you're slightly more advanced again, we can play it in sixteenth notes or semi-quavers. So just to give you a little feel of what each one of those would sound like, stick a wee metronome on. So if we were playing in crotchets, for slightly more advanced, we can do quavers. And then if we're slightly more advanced again, we can do semi-quavers. Now obviously depending on what speed you choose, that's going to alter how many times you actually end up going up and down the scale because it's going to fit in the same length of time. Um, but that's going to be up to you. I'm going to be mixing and matching between them so you can hear what they sound like in the play along. But you can just go through whatever tempo, uh, whatever subdivision you choose. <laughs>
Now because there's seven different positions that we can play the major scale on the fretboard, that means there's seven different positions on the neck that we could potentially go through this exercise. I'm not going to do all seven of them because we'd be here forever if I was to do that and you're probably bored enough as it is. Most people don't even watch this far into the videos to be honest. Um, but I'm going to give you now just an example of playing the same exercise but in a different position. So we'll be using all the same finger patterns, it's going to be a different place on the neck and they're all going to apply to different scales. So if you want to challenge yourself, you can have a wee go at trying this one now. I'm going to have it so that our starting note A is going to be at fret 12 on the A string this time. So let's have a look at what this would look like. So thank you so much for watching, if you did like this video don't forget to give it a like, also subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have new lessons coming out pretty soon, and until I see you in the next one, happy practicing.